welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing another weave. This time I'm going to be getting into some different types of materials I've got and some different techniques. So shall we get straight into it? There she is. Where are we going? Oh, there she is. Hello, beautiful. Shall I get some needles? Which one is here? What have we got? Oh, you get it. There it is. There it is, Layla. It's a tricky one. You get it. She won't be able to pick it up. Can you kick it about? Hi, so we're actually on a different day and I've pulled up an image of some rust. It looks like this. And so you know that I've got all of these wools that we can work with. So I'm going to be working on, which again is some foam board, which I really like using. I'll just cut it down. So we've got Layla with us again, haven't we? I don't know if you watched the intro there, but that went on for ages with uh, Layla. So if you're a fan of Layla, great. But um, yeah, I hope it didn't bore you. Maybe you skipped it. I'm not sure. Right. Okay. Got my cup of chai, tea. And we're going to start on the top of my board here and going to be working down. Going to be inspired by these colours and shapes and textures and surfaces. So I'm going to go with this one first. A few sumac weaves. Let's see how it comes out with just one strand of wool. If it doesn't stand out as a design, then I'll probably just double it up a little bit. I'm going to wrap that round. Now, I have done a video which explains how to do each of the techniques that I'm doing here. This is a sumac technique. And see, already I'm feeling like that's quite thin, but we'll crack on with it. So as an art teacher, textiles teacher as well, I do find that in the jobs that I've had and do, that very quickly, sometimes people give up on 
the work they're doing because it doesn't look right or feel right or they're not in the mood. I get this, I understand this because I can be like that myself. But sometimes it's a good idea to just crack on, especially if you enjoy it and appreciate art, doing art, making art then you know, it's a good idea to just crack on and see what, what sort of things you can do, really, and persevere. Right now, as I said, I'm feeling like this is very thin. Do I think it's gonna stand out enough? It might not, but I'm going to, as I said, I'm gonna crack on with it. But I'm just looking at this top left-hand corner, if you can see the image in the background there. And I'm not even using a weaving needle, I'm just using my hands. I'm gonna go as far along as this wool is going to take me. I'm going to go the opposite way, over here, and back up. So that's it there, done. And now I'm going to still go for maybe some of this thinner one, slightly different orange colour, but I'm going to maybe just layer it up a couple of times. Well, what I've done there, is I've laid up four strands of wool and I'm going to do the sumac again right next door to this one here. Over and under, over and under and then change direction. So head left over the top and under and head up halfway back along here. So that's a full sumac from there to there but this is just gonna be left dangling down because we've run out of wool, which is fine. So next, what I'm gonna do is a quite fancy do some of this brown using this one. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do some little loops up here. So maybe about yeah, so I'm going to put a little loop there and I'm going to push the wool through there. I'm just going to create like a little loop like that. And then I'll do the same again on the next one. So I'm going to push that through, pull that. Just quite like thinking about having a bit of an overhang there at the top. So I'm going to push that through, pull that one through. What's Squirt doing? What are you doing over there, Layla? You're looking at sheep, thinking, I'm going to play with sheep. Your little toy. So I've done quite a few of those. Make them the height that you want them to go. But So that's probably enough of that wool colour. Next, let's try, let's try some of this one. So loop, push the longer length through the middle. Pull. And then we're going in with this one. So I've taken that beigey thin wool a bit further down over here. And now I'm looking over here and I'm quite liking some of this, which I think would go really well up at the top area. And I'm thinking let's go in with some tassel -y bits, but I might try the tassels a bit more like loopy bits like that. What do we think? Pull them through. Let's see. I'm doing a bit of freestyling over here. It's called enjoying experimenting. I'm going to tuck that under there and pull that through. Quite like that to hang off the end, I think. Oh, that's too heavy. Yeah, but I'm thinking let's let's have some bits at the side like that. I mean, we can always tuck them back. We can twist. Let's leave them like that for now. And I'm going to do a few more. Use a couple of these up there. They smell so nice, these. When I got all the jumpers, I think if you remember a video that I did over Christmas time, I, I washed all the charity shop stuff and ripped and tore and cut them all up. So 
Yeah, they smell really nice. I'm going to mix in a bit of this kind of mustardy colour. Let's go in down here. Right, that's, that's a bit chunkier, that one, to this previous one. That one hangs really well. This one's a little bit stiffer and thicker. Maybe I'll need to mix it up a bit. What do I think about those little bits? So it's from a jumper. I think I like those ribbed bits. So I think this would be good if I mix it up with a little bit more of this orangey red. Leaves, which I've had for absolutely ages. I've used some of it in the past for some teaching projects. I've not done a great deal with it myself. Oh, it's like candy floss. What I want to do is just let's twist it a little bit. Now I kind of want to put some plain weave, some tabby weave over here. Actually, that's quite nice, just letting it stand a bit. We're back to the loops. We're back to the loops. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to tuck it behind here and try and bring it up behind. It shows a little bit of pink running across here. This is what we're working with. This is what we've got. And I need to just get a little bit more of orangey, browny colours going on down over here. But plenty of texture, plenty of colour. Using some tabby weave, some loopy bits and some sumac up there. And let's keep going. Okay, so this is what we got. It's very colourful, very textural, isn't it? I've done a couple of hours there, really enjoyed it, but I think we're just, just going to have a break now. The next step will be doing the kind of more bluey tones of that piece and we'll crack on another day. going to go in with this bright blue just looking at this side over here and I've got some other wools set up that I'm also going to use but we'll start off with this and we may well use some of this one stop in a minute because it is time for tea. Just to show you what I've been doing, I've been sticking to some of these blue wools and green colours as well and I've just been doing huge loops and trying to get a little bit of depth to the weave and I'm just trying to vary up the length of those. Uh, that's also a loopy one there too. So I'm just trying to balance it off as well because that's quite heavy over there and then sort of minimises and then sort of has a bit of height and depth into it. Yeah, I'm going to crack on a little bit more. You know, I'm just having a little bit of a play there and I'm liking the results. So I have just been doing kind of tassel-y 
what I've done is I've just kind of taken the middle, grabbed two warp lengths and then pushed the fabric through on either side. And kind of doing the tassel back to front and it gives it a little bit of height there with the t-shirt material. But I'm also just kind of tying that in too. Maybe another dot to get some different lengths. So we've got a little bit of a tassely bit going on here, which I think works well. Some loopy bits around here. And then I've just chopped the ends. As you know, I quite like those chopped diagonally. And I don't mind those fraying quite a bit as well. I think it adds to it. So that's that side. And then I just need to work on this bit here. I've started using this wool that I've got here. It's got some wire inside of it. To be fair, I think I got it ages ago from um, Country Baskets, but I was just wondering if I did the sumac with it, it's already happening, but it tends to look a little bit more pronounced, which looks good, I think. Kind of move it around a bit like that. Yeah, I like it. Digging it. I'm going to do some knots here. Keeping them quite loose and it's working quite well because of the wire inside this wool. I've got a little layla under the table though. not coming to say hello. Right, we are done, gang. What do you reckon? That last bit there that I did, I just did some little loops. I did some knots, more loops, cut some of the edges. Um, I did some of those raya loop knots on the side there and try to link some of these colours up from the top down. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you did enjoy it and if you did and you'd like to see more free content like this then please do hit the subscribe button. Definitely give me a like today and I will see you in the next video. And one quick question, please would you let me know whether you would like me to do a live? A few of you have got back to me through Instagram and YouTube, but I'm thinking coming up in about a week's time. All right then, take care and I'll see you shortly. Bye.